So, one of the things I've grown up, of course, with you. <laughs> so, one of the things you really prepared me as a child was um, is taking um, failures. Like there is nothing new. You always coached me to celebrate life. In the sense, if I come and tell him, like, Dad, I I didn't do well in this exam, or I'm I think I may fail this exam, you're not always like, you know what, it's okay. Was it so like that? Yeah, you were always. I don't remember. Yeah, you were always like, good, congratulate, let's celebrate. So I always had that, uh, you know what, it's okay, whatever I do, it's going to be celebration. Somehow that was a core programming that got built within me that I always love to celebrate. I always want to celebrate life, whether that's failure or success. So, how about I wish that I way? had good type of parents. Yeah. Because my parents told me, if you don't get a seat in MBBS, you are a failure. Your brother got a seat in engineering. So, when I didn't get a seat in MBBS, I was trying to commit suicide in Hyderabad. So, you are very lucky to have very good parents. <laughs> I was not so very lucky. <laughs> yeah. So, was that the influence, like because you don't want to be like your parents? or No, my parents are good. Mm. I always thank for my parents. But it would have been better had my parents been knowledgeable about me. That's all. Mm. Yeah. Well, I chose my own parents. Yes. Okay. And you chose your parents? Yes. Everybody chooses their own parents for specific reasons. We can't have any complaints against any parent. Okay. We, have, we are here to learn from every parent in every given life situation. That's how I was able But now, every parent should learn about meditation and give that to their children. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that has been really a fortunate thing for me that I have learned meditation from such a young age. That uh, even when I was, I remember the time when, uh, when I was like three years or four years, we would sit in the house and we would call uh, your colleagues uh, my mama, my mother's brother, and they all come home and uh, they will do the uja board. My mother will do the uja board and take messages and I'm there sitting and watching. It was such a program and it was like all getting downloaded within me and I would be awake until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And my like mom or you, you never stop me. Oh, you have to go to bed now. This is time for bed. This is time for this. There was never that restriction on me like any other parent that I've seen. That this is what you should do. This is what you should uh, be doing at this time. So even mom was always that way. So it was very, uh, I guess, that compatibility was always there within both of you. That no, it's not like one person was strict and one person was lenient. Right, and and I think that is something that I ask everybody to have that not the leniency part but just have that meditation and conversation I am glad nice. you are interviewing me so that I get back into my golden days yes. and those golden days are revealed to the whole world yeah I am very thankful for you yeah to interview me in this way yeah many things which are not there available will come out of this interview so I remember all those days when you know you used to read books I, I couldn't understand at that point like why you were that way but it was more of an acceptance, like this I is was remembering, I was used to take you to the gardens and then yeah. you will be playing and I will be reading my books. Mm -hmm. When your playing is done, then we will go back to the home. Yes. I remember those things very clearly. Yes. We would go in your jeep. Yeah. And then uh, one thing was Sunke Sula, we, should, we would take my friends and go. We were in Karnul next to the theatre, the apartments and it was my birthday so I remember you uh, taking all my friends You, there was a party, you, I was asking for a party, birthday party and maybe I was 5th class or 6th class and you took all my friends, dropped them home and brought them here uh, to make that ha a party happen and I still remember that Okay. <laughs> so you did, you did not leave all your responsibilities as you say you were very much in the family, you were very much taking care of all these things. If you leave your responsibility, you are not enlightened at all. And I was enlightened. If you were enlightened, you, you carry on with your respons basic responsibilities in a much better way. Luxuries you will not provide to your children, but necessities are never denied. You become more responsible in responding to necessities of every person around you.
you couldn't get family members. Yeah. So I mean, this is just to say that it's not about leaving your responsibility, but it is about giving prioritizing Priorities. what is important for you at that moment. Luxuries are not at all a priority, but basic necessities are absolute priority. Mm-hmm. Absolute priority.